Hey, what's up guys, it's Jack211 and welcome back to my channel to another Roblox video, I guess. Yes, we are back to Roblox now. I'm gonna try my best to get some Roblox videos out again with both dinosaur games and maybe some Steam games as well. I like to record Grand Theft Auto a lot, but yeah, we're back to Roblox now. And I'm just gonna give you guys an update on everything that has really been happening lately. And why I have been uploading Windcraft and such. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Yes. But yeah. Basically everything. But first I'm going to start off with Prior Extinction. So basically. We decided to cancel the project. Short. Right. Yeah. But the thing is that. It kind of became a slow process. Very slow. And yeah we had got no real usable progress other than scripting within these past 40 days of doing this with prior extinction because vera our model maker was doing a bunch of other games as well like she was making models for dinos world and another game as well which wasn't really finalized or anything but still she didn't really have much time and bold both my script and I we lost our motivation for the game because of course we got no like models done um, in terms of like being finished of course none of them were finished so we we got some models as you guys saw with like the what was it called the Velociraptor and it was just not finished so it wasn't made uh, it, w it wasn't animated and such it was only made and we needed a bunch of animations and yeah Vera just didn't really have the motivation I guess for it so that kind of like I, I'm not like trying to hate on Vera or anything because of course she she's the one that decides what to do with the models because I wasn't gonna spend a huge amount of money hiring more modelers when I wasn't even sure if the game was gonna be popular or not like would you guys spend tons of money on something you weren't sure if it will would be worth it like it's kind of like with my new computer, you know. I wouldn't spend a lot of money on it without researching first if it will be good or anything. So that's, that's kind of a perspective, I guess. But yeah, we decided to um, to cancel its development. And I'm also sorry to those that donate to the game's development. And refunds are not available except for those that donated 500 Robux or more. They will. I cannot refund Robux due to Roblox basically being broken. In terms of that so they can just like contact me in discord and get a special rank in my discord and uh, there's not much else to do with that really like we cancelled the prior extinction and, and I'm terribly sorry to those that look forward to it but there may come a time again when we're gonna start working on it again I don't know I don't know man but yeah just stay tuned it, it may happen at some point and yeah now but the reason for doing Windcraft was because I, I think Windcraft is very fun to play and I had a lot of fun playing it basically and also in my spare time and such so that was really the reason for me playing that and I don't see why people didn't like it I, I just had fun with it and I don't mind if people dislike those videos but now I'm trying to do some Roblox again so don't worry guys don't worry it was just that Windcraft was is and is was very fun I'm still probably gonna upload it eventually now and then like but I'm gonna stick with Roblox now and I'm both gonna do normal Roblox games and of course dinosaur games and now that I've got my new PC I can get some OP frames per second and things like era of terror and such so that's I think that's really great I tested out my PC yesterday and I was even able to live stream Grand Theft Auto in 60 FPS so that that was quite insane honestly and I, I I think it was just in general a very fun thing to do and also I want to talk about the topic of me not uploading that much in January and you guys may be able to guess the reason but yeah I'm just gonna be fully honest with you guys like YouTube is currently my job and ever since the 1st of January I saw the revenue go down a lot on my videos because December is the hi highest paid month for YouTubers so that's the, the golden age I guess you could say and then we had like January and my uh, revenue actually went down by 85% so my I only got 15% of what I got in December from January 
I hope it will be better in uh, February. Of course, I'm not doing YouTube for the money, but it definitely is a motivation to making videos. So I kind of didn't really care what I uploaded. I just want to upload something that I enjoyed myself to make and record, such as yeah, Windcraft. Basically, it got basically no views, and I've only been making like two dollars a day or something, two to three dollars a day here in January, where I made way more in um, what's it called. December in December I made almost like well $30 a day yeah $30 a day from a uh, YouTube because the advertisements were so great and correction I made around $5 per day in January so I got 150 in total from January and $900 from um, from December so that was nice I guess but yeah those earnings also went into the funding to my computer basically and yeah I'm really happy for my new computer there are just some problems with it like the graphics card not performing as well as it should it's underperforming basically but I will hopefully have that fixed eventually and I will be able to make even greater videos I also just got my Photoshop and Movavi my um, video editor on my new computer so that's the reason I have not been able to upload the past two days from that because I cannot edit any videos and I want to edit videos and I cannot make thumbnails either so it's only now that I'm able to do thumbnails and such so that's that's the reason for me first uploading now and yeah in general uh, in real life I had a bunch of assignments as well so that kind of like pulled me down mentally because I was like oh my god I'm depressed because of school it's very common for people to um, be kind of depressed not of course like super depressed but kind of depressed from school because of all the assignments and all the work you got to put into it like it's very hard for me in school right now because there's a bunch of assignments and homework that we have to do of course I don't do homework every single time because sometimes it's just things that will go through in class anyway so there's no real point of me reading on it at home other than to understand it better I guess but yeah in real life it's been kind of tough as well and uh, now that I'm 18 I have to pay um, rent to live at home to my parents as well so <laughs> that's kind of rip and that is actually I think yeah $150 basically so that was all that I made in, uh, in January is what I have to pay my parents for living at home <laughs> so um, I'm not really making any money right now unless it goes very well for February of course which I really hope it does and I also want to talk to you guys about simulators because I kind of want to expand to simulators, especially bubblegum simulator. Like, I'm I have some very good pets in bubblegum simulator. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I think it could be funny to make some cool videos in a bubblegum simulator and like, yeah, showcasing the new updates and whatever that that there may come in that game as well. And yeah, I know some of you guys probably don't like simulators, and some of you may be like, wait, Jacko. That is a simulator is a simulator. That is a simulator is not a traditional simulator. So it's not that kind of thing that very goes vi viral. And there's only the grinding aspect. There's not really anything else. Uh, expensive game pass as well. I don't think the game passes on Dinosaur Simulator are that expensive. A little bit expensive, but compared to simulators like Bubblegum Simulator, Pet Simulator, and such, it's nothing, guys. So simulators are basically cash grabs for the developers. And I, st I still get kind of addicted to them, mostly Bubblegum Simulator. I thought actually that Bubblegum Simulator was a terrible simulator when it first came out. But now I play it like a lot. It's not because I play it a lot, but I have it open in the background a lot where it just sits and opens eggs. I, I could also do giveaways and such on Bubblegum Simulator. That could be quite interesting, but I don't really know as a bit. And also, I'm, I'm uh, eldering my Berserk Claws, the Resinosaurus. It died yesterday in my live stream, so that was kind of rip. And yeah, this is the new model, if you didn't notice already. Yes, silly Jacko just had to uh, remind you of that. And uh, there's also the Kaiju Titanosaurus remodel. I could just show it real quickly. I, I don't know what to do. But yeah, I think this one, the the Berserk Claws, has got, is generally a very good model. But again... The Kaiju, Titanosaurus, 
made by Wolf Dragon, and I've been uh, I've criticized her quite a lot in the past. And uh, I'm not gonna go too much into details with this. Wait, is it not Elder? What? Oh wait, it is Elder. But yeah, I don't think the animations are very great. Like, it, it looks kind of rushed and such. This attack animation. Like, nothing too special. The AoE is boring as heck. Doesn't look at realistic at all, like with the movement. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> and again, sorry. Wow. But yeah, it doesn't look very great. You can also see the walk in. For a walk in animation to be great, it has to line up with the speed that you're walking in. So, right now you can see the legs are moving slower than what the model is moving, like the pace. You can also see when I'm running. It's basically a sped up version of the walking animation, which is very rushed and poorly made, I must say. And I think the tail is very boring as well. You can see it doesn't even go down, it just goes from side to side. So, I, I think this model is kind of bad, but that's just my thoughts. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, right? And I hope that I cleared everything up. Ask me any further more questions in the comments down below. If you have any questions about anything I said in this video or anything else and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed alright and I'll see you guys next time bye bye